finding a way to play hockey in the desert. Yikes. It's not so easy, but luckily for the athletes in our next story, pool season is kicking into gear. Here's a look at a sport that combines a popular ice pastime with pool. What the heck is underwater hockey? People think we're kidding when we tell them. I keep a picture in my wallet of the sport just to be able to show people. No, really, it's a, it's a thing. So this water is the, the melted. Works well here in, in Phoenix, right? The, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. melted water sport. It's like this perfect blend of competitiveness and just kind of easygoing social sport environment. It feels like a completely different world underwater. It makes perfect sense when you're in there. It's very different from hockey. There are no goalies. The, the sticks are a lot smaller and uh, you're underwater. So you can't actually breathe. We play with snorkel gear and it's a non-contact sport. No body checking in underwater hockey. There's a penalty box you can get sent to. I've been sent to it a couple times. Very shameful to get sent to the box. So here's the stick, here's the puck. It's pretty similar to a hockey puck in size. It's heavier than an actual hockey puck. This is very important to uh, communicate with your teammates, but we're also underwater, so it's very hard to communicate. It is a pretty steep learning curve, so it, it does get pretty fast and it can be frustrating. Go. There are about 25 countries around the world that play underwater hockey. We're the only team in the state. We're state champions. I love underwater hockey. It's just such a fun sport. I love it, so I just want to keep playing it. Even if you don't like it, it makes for a great story at work the next day. Good job. All right, sports is also referred to uh, as octopush in the United Kingdom. That's I'm not understanding why yeah. it's octa. Well, I mean, it's, it, I, because you got okay. eight arms, I guess. I, I know. Is know. it is it four players per team? It's I'm not getting it. Started in 1954 <laughs> as a way to open divers to keeping active with colder months during the colder months. First underwater hockey world championship. In case this ever comes up in a trivia moment for you, which I doubt it will, but you might win it. You'll know that it was in Canada in 1980. 1980, a good year. Okay.